Okay, let's try and find another bug. Uh, where do I even look for bugs? Um, haven't tested like things moving between tracks very much. Hey, hey! Oh no! This looks really bad. This is the baking system. Okay, this could be <clears throat> a really complicated bug. So it wasn't a crash, but it's hitting this assert. Um, and what we're checking is if the sink lane Is dependency above sync? <laughs> okay, so this is the baking system that's bugging out. Um and at what point did I add this assert? Because I, I put this comment here saying this all used to work completely differently. I don't know if that was part of this refactor or an earlier one. Um, what I can do is have a look in my other monitor quickly at the previous release, the code from the previous release. Just look at this file. Um, source bakery bacon go. Bakery. Baking graph. I'm just in my other monitor mumbling to myself. Is dependency above sync? No, okay, th this is from an older refactor. Um, so this is nothing that I've changed recently. But this might be a bug that's present. Um, in the current Patreon build. Um, the other thing to consider here is maybe this assert is just wrong. Um, sometimes that's the case. Um, I don't really want to... I could just continue executing right now and see if it actually crashes, but I'm not going to um, just yet. So, yeah, the baking system... So, the sync is a word that I use when you have um, I have these this, uh, any block that makes a noise for example um, a synthesizer or a sampler or a macro even if it has other blocks inside it that make a noise uh, that's called a source and a sync is any block that receives a noise and does something with it so an effect would be an example of a sync. Uh, macros can also be syncs if they have effects inside them um, and an input track set up. Uh, a receive block is a sync. Um, no, that's not true. A send block is a sync. And a receive block is a... a source. <laughs> Something like that. I don't know what I, I, I was going to draw a diagram here, but I ended up just using words. Uh, right. So I'm asserting that the the track of the sync is equal to the track of the dependency. Dependency above sync. Is that always the case then? Um, so I think it's a rule that um, 
a sync block always accepts inputs from a block on the same track and that's why I put this assert here so this hap this uh, assert was hit when I was dragging blocks from one track to another and we ended up um, in this function so where we're checking if essentially well I think what this was doing is because I I think I, I was dragging a I had a waveform I had a sampler block above an effect I think and then I dragged the sampler down onto a track below and this is checking if the um, checking if the sampler is still above the effect and we're saying hey just to be sure these are definitely on the same track right because they always should be because otherwise the sampler shouldn't be a dependency of the effect at all I think the assertion is wrong I don't think we should be asserting this because I'm moving the sampler to a different track and every time a, every time a block moves at all the baking graph has to update and the reason why we're in this function at all is we're, we're checking if the sampler block is still a dependency of the effect block or whether we should break that connection at this point so moving it to another track should break the connection it's you know it's one of the uh so instead of asserting here we should just say if it's not on the same track then it's not a dependency anymore so just return false so let me just get a little bit more context to make sure i'm not talking bollocks Dependency is no longer above the sink, it's expired. So I'm using this word expired to say it's no longer a dependency and it should be removed from the from the um, the list of dependencies for the effect. In this case, it's the effect. But um, I think I'm right about this. And I, th I don't think it will crash if I continue here. It's just hit this assertion, which is not a crash. It's just an assertion. It just makes a debugger break. So if I continue here, nothing bad will happen. So what was I moving? I was moving... I was moving... I was just moving two effects. Oh, I was talking bullshit about the... Um, there's no sampler involved at all here. It's just two effects. But one effect can be a dependency of another effect. Like the, the output of this effect goes into this effect. Even though there's no actual audio data here. It's just silence, but... So does this, this assertion, I assume, will hit again when I try and drag? No, it didn't. Or it did eventually. It's dependent below audio source. Yeah, I think these assertions are just wrong. So, um, yeah, this wouldn't... I don't think this was a problem in the previous build just because these are assertions so we might have got like messages in the log about it while you were dragging tracks while you're dragging things between tracks um in in blockhead 0283 or whatever it was um probably you would get logs stuff printed in the log um just in case you don't know and you're watching this which you're not because nobody watches these videos. Um, bah, 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 bah. In case you don't know, you can go to Alpha Tools, Open Logs, and you get a mess of shit, which is impossible to know <laughs> which one you should be looking at. But I guess you could just go date modified to see the most recently written. Um, yeah if there's errors then you'll get a log generated which has the date in it I think that's what I do if it doesn't have the date in it then it's not for errors it's just for general logging uh, I guess I need to clean up this shit it's not very good is it the ones starting with the word go dot um, go excuse me 
What the hell is this? Oh. Oh, I guess it, it gets printed out to two separate logs. Anyway, I just wanted to say that's where the logs are. Uh, for when things go bad. Uh, uh, right. I'm going to get rid of these assertions. I'm going to replace them with ifs, in fact. So if... If they're not on the same track anymore, can return false. Because these dependency chains shouldn't flow across tracks. Um, the exception to that is send and receive blocks, but they work in a different way. I don't think, um, send and receive blocks, how does that work? <laughs> How does send and receive blocks work? Oh, send and receive blocks, they do use, like, the dependency graph in the same way, but they wouldn't, they wouldn't use these functions to check for expired dependencies. Um, so I think they just don't go through here. I haven't actually tested send and receive blocks, that was what I could do next, actually. Um, so it's the same thing, right? Think. Yeah. So I think that does the right thing. A sampler and an effect. I hate this menu. I'm gonna do something so much better than this menu. I have a plan for what I'm doing. Gonna do for uh, like doing things like adding an effect. Like you have an effect in your mind. You're like, I want. I'm gonna create a delay right here. That should be so much less fiddly than it is right now. I'm gonna create a nice interface for that. Um, to make it like really quick to just be like. I want a delay here. Blah, blah, blah. Done. Should be that that quickly. Um, so that stupid context menu. I hate it so much. Anyway. Um, so I start dragging things around like I did before. Yeah. So stable. <laughs> it's so stable. Okay. All right, that's fixed. Um, yeah, that's another video. Uh, was there two bugs that I fixed there? Or did I just not commit this? I can't remember. I have to watch the videos back. Uh, okay, end of this video, and then I will, I will um, commit this stuff, and then start recording again. Uh, uh, yeah, I need to test send and receive blocks, which I just have not tested at all. No, I did. I did test them for a moment, and it seemed okay, but I didn't test them thoroughly. All right, uh, okay.